What are blockchain forks? You may have heard many names within the crypto market. Some of those names may include blockchain forks like Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Private, and many more. You might be thinking, why are there so many versions of a coin when they all look the same and stem from one original coin? In this video, we are going to tell you about the blockchain forks, not exactly what they are, but more along the lines of how they came to be. Before we dive into that deep sea of crypto, you need to know that Cryptella offers you authentic crypto news and strategies so that way you can stay in touch with the market. Hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to keep yourself updated with our crypto updates. Also, check out our website, www.cryptella.com. When it comes to blockchain technology, a fork is defined as a change in protocol. A fork can occur at the level of application, network, or database. A software fork happens when developers take the code from an existing project and create their independent version of the software. This can happen for several reasons, such as disagreements among developers or a desire to create a more innovative product. A network fork occurs when there is a disagreement among miners about the rules of the network, resulting in two separate versions of the blockchain. In the world of cryptocurrency, a fork is a change to the protocol of a blockchain. Forks can be caused by software updates or changes in the rules governing the network. When a fork occurs, the original chain and the new chain are both valid and can exist simultaneously. A fork is similar to a stock split, when both stocks continue to trade after the event. Now, to get to the idea of forking, we need to get into the scalability debate. Miners use their computing power to add new blocks to the blockchain, and for the verified transaction, a block should be added to the chain. This is where a new problem arises because previously, the size of the block was one megabyte, and it has the capability of four transactions per second, which was very low as compared to the local banking credit cards that can do 1400 TPS per second. So when BTC was getting popular, it was not manageable and its future was looking dark. Because in that scenario, if mass transactions happen, they will not happen in real time. To avoid this scenario, the replacement by fee system was introduced but this is also not a scalable option. Finally, to solve this problem, forking was introduced. Let's stop here. Before we go further, hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so you never miss any news from Cryptella. Forking. Forking happens when a blockchain splits into two branches, and it can also happen as a result of software changes or updates. According to the nature of the fork, it can be divided into two parts, a hard fork or a soft fork. Hard fork. A hard fork is a permanent divergence from the previous version of the blockchain, where nodes running the previous version will no longer be accepted by the newest version. A hard fork is a radical change to the protocol that makes previously valid blocks or transactions turn invalid. So, any transaction in the fork that was on the new chain will not be valid on the older chain. All nodes and miners have to upgrade to the latest version of the protocol software if they want to be on the new fork chain of the network. Hard fork requires users of the chain to choose between one chain or the other. But do remember that this is only done when you have good 90 to 95% support from the mining community. Soft fork. A soft fork happens when a change in the software protocol keeps it backward compatible. This means that the new chain will follow the new rules, but also respect the older rules too. The original chain obviously will also continue to follow the old rules, but for this fork, the requirement is the majority of miners, 51%, to enforce the new rules. Forks can have different ramifications depending on how they are implemented. Some forks are simply protocol to upgrades and do not result in the creation of a new token. In the world of cryptocurrency, a fork is a type of event that occurs when the underlying blockchain protocol undergoes a significant software upgrade. This can simply be a minor change to an existing code or complete overhaul of the entire system. Forks can also happen at the level of application-specific code, such as when an Ethereum smart contract is upgraded. In either case, all nodes on the network must upgrade to the new software for the changes to take effect. A blockchain fork is a split in the blockchain, resulting in two separate chains. Forks can occur naturally when two miners find blocks at roughly the same time. However, they can also be created deliberately by developers as a way to upgrade the software or make other changes. Difference between hard and soft forks. A blockchain fork is a permanent divergence from the previous version of the blockchain, and nodes running previous versions will no longer be accepted by the newest version. A fork can occur naturally when two miners find a block at nearly the same time, or it can be caused by changes in the software. 
Forks can also be planned ahead of time by developers who want to add new features to a blockchain. In the world of cryptocurrency, a fork is a change to the software of the coin that creates two separate versions of the blockchain. Forks can happen on their own or be caused by developers. They can be planned or unplanned. The first fork of the Bitcoin blockchain happened on August 1, 2017. Bitcoin Cash is a hard fork of the cryptocurrency and the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Since old nodes will recognize the new blocks as valid, a soft fork is backward compatible. A chain split can also happen temporarily when two miners find blocks nearly at the same time. In either case, each version of the blockchain has its history. Forks can be categorized into soft forks and hard forks. If a majority of miners, by hash power, update to the new version, then the soft fork is successful. If not, the fork will fail and revert back to the old blockchain. That's all for now from Cryptella. We hope you found this video helpful. Let us know what you thought in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon below. Thanks for watching.